I could tell you unnumbered stories where it has worked, if people would believe me. In this audience tonight, there sits a man only a few weeks ago. He was let out of a job. I told him it would make no difference to me if he was let out, and they told him it was forever, that it was permanent, that I would hear good news for him. Good news. So I heard exactly what he would tell me were true. And tonight, just before I took the platform, he told me he has been transferred to a new job, where his income is in excess of what it was before. All things being relative, when you make $13,000 on a job, that is not hay. Yet it could be 100000 and I am telling you right now, I don't care what he has ever done in the world today exceeding $13,000. It could easily be, if that is what he wants. From Neville's 1963 lecture, Barabbas or Jesus. And it often is easier to hear for another, although some people may only want to hear for themselves and not care to hear for another. But we will come to see not only the beauty but the benefit of doing this. So as you can see in this example, Neville didn't care about any other details. He simply heard good news for the man. Neville tells another story of a lady who was in her 70s who was sitting in his audience. She had no money, but her home was in need of various repairs. She looks at the unrepaired, unpainted house. She could smell paint and see the whole thing, as it would be seen, were true, that things were exactly as she wanted to be. And she sleeps in that assumption. What is she actually saying? If I say to her, who is smelling anything? She would say, I am smelling paint. What are you seeing? I am seeing a repaired house. What else? I am seeing that the whole thing has been paid for. She falls asleep in the assumption of seeing from her own wonderful center. I am seeing it. I am smelling the paint. All these things she is doing. And in one month it was all repaired, and painted and paid for, with a surplus of $7,000. A gift from one she had never seen in this world, only communicated with her two or three times in the course of a year. So here we see another example of someone getting what they want through the use of their imagination. See how simple they made it, without overthinking it, and they did it. Neville goes on to say about this lady, Because it was fun, she did it for nine or ten days, and then came this wonderful draft from England, and a letter from Lloyd's Bank telling her of the story. She entered the sheepfold, and they all heard her voice, and they all came out. The sheep happened to be the money. Everything in the world responded to her voice. She was calling them out. She was calling out paint, calling out the repair job, calling out everything. They only responded to the voice of the shepherd. So that's amazing that it only took her nine or ten days. When is the last time you slept in the desire of your wish fulfilled? So we see the importance here. To make it fun. That's what's going to make you keep doing it. I know when a lot of people imagine they have a lot more heavier pressures weighing on them so sometimes it feels hard to do it in fun. But for some of the lesser desires, we should do our best to do it in fun, so we can build our successes, thus build our faith, thus build conviction, and ultimately mastery. And how amazing that it simply took nine or ten days. When is the last time you imagined for something just before you went to sleep, sleeping in the mood of the wish fulfilled? When is the last time you did it for nine or ten days? Well, you can start tonight, and regardless how many days it takes, continue. Because if it doesn't happen in nine or ten days, this time, as you practice and grow in successes, you will become faster. One for you, one for me. How are you? Did this show you? No, Toshi, <laughs> don't come out. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for the tea, honey. Mm. A 
can taste the horse fries. Mm, pickle me. Okay, on the door, what's this mean? Fu. What's how do you say it in Japanese? Shiku. 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 Hiku. Uh -huh. And this is. Push. Osu. Osu. Uh huh. Arigato gozaimasu. Neville goes on to say, Who is the shepherd? I am the shepherd. There is no other shepherd. If you think he will shepherd you and put your trust in our president or our mayor or our governor or your father or mother or some uncle who is about to die and you are now giving the most marvelous meal in the world because you think he is going to leave you in his will so he is your shepherd and all these you think are the shepherd. You are simply looking in vain. There is no other shepherd and no other door into eternity save the one door and that one door is I am. So Neville is telling you, don't be cheap. Know your worth. You are the I am. You are the creator behind all. All on the outside that seemingly move to do your bidding. It is all set forth from the I am. It's easy to forget that when we get lost in the dream of life. Same thing when we watch a movie. We forget we're watching a movie. So here is your reminder. And as many times as it takes, you'll be reminded. Because that's our destiny. That's our fate. It is part of the seed within us that is destined to blossom. The point of this particular lecture of Neville's was are you going to give in to the 3D world, the world of senses, the robber of your joy, Barabbas? Or are you going to release Jesus, the power of your human imagination? Which will you choose? What will you choose tonight as you go to bed? Will you release Barabbas or will you release Jesus? Will you live your life a slave to the 3D world, your senses? Or will you come to know your imagination, to rule with your imagination, to learn to view the world that all comes from imagination? Imagination is your holy grail. Oh, you found it. Have we ever been here? Uh, yeah. No, this one. Yeah. When did we come here? So we have discovered these cool masks. It's supposed to keep you cool? Uh, it's cool. What's the technology? Why? I don't, know. I don't know. Let's do it. 3D and keeps you cool. I don't know how. Boy, did I miss these. These are good in the US. I wish there was a smaller bag. Chips, 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 and more chips. Chips, cute things. Mm. I really like these in the United States. Good. Read this morning's paper, and 99%, including the ads, were all paid for. And if it is something you like, you will buy it. It is perfectly all right. It has been paid for, and you know it. But you don't know all the news items were paid for also. That has been concealed. They are all paid for. All the press agents all over the world. There is not one who is in the public eye that does not maintain some press relationship. Daily columns, not press agents. They have been glamorized into some name other than press agents. But still, they take your money, month after month, and put these little items in the story. And you read it morning, noon, and night. And you believe that to be true. I tell you, forget the entire vast world and ask yourself a simple, simple question. What would I like to be? Look at the world. Forget Cuba. Forget Russia. Forget China. Forget all this stuff that is going on in the world. What would I like to be? A decent, wonderful being that contributes to the good of the world? To be happily married? Yes, to be in this world and contribute to the good of the world? What really contribute? so that when I am gone and my children's children are gone, they will say, He gave a thought to the world that has fed the world. The unborn tomorrow could be fed by what I have left behind me. Would I like to do that, at the same time not neglecting my obligations tonight? For I am married, there is a husband, a wife, a child, a father, a mother, all these things in the world, and I must, if I love them as I think I do, take care of them. And so I want enough to leave them cushioned. So how timely that is with all the news going on. Just as Neville said, history cycles. Even today we're hearing the news of Russia, China, and so forth. 
but let us put all that aside, especially as we go into sleep. And whatever it is you desire, dare to fall asleep in the assumption that it is true. For some, they may not believe this, and Neville says they will then have to go through the fires of hell in this world. With the power of imagination, nothing can stop you. So be the good shepherd and guide the sheep. The shepherd being your I am. Oh, that's an awfully cute little bag. I wish I could give it to someone. Oh, Toshi, this is a grocery bag? This is a, a, a gro- the, the groceries are so cute. What is this? Goodbye, Danny. Toshi, what is this? Goodbye, Danny. Is it a sticky trap to get bugs? That's so funny. Goodbye, Danny. They named the bug Danny. Yeah, we don't have bugs. Look at this, it's for pain, he said. I like the design on it. They got a lot of good designers in Japan. Would you like to try one? Huh? <laughs> the elves are so funny, but... Toshi, come here, what's this for? Pain? Why they put a man that looks like a Japanese man pretending to be a Mexican? I just want to say that all the packaged Japanese coffee, I don't like any of it. It tastes like something you'd give to a bug to kill it. Some foreign people like uh, Japanese oh? canned. You just said there's lots of chemicals. Which ones are the chemicals? Coffee should just be coffee, cream, and sugar. The extreme. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know in English. You can't even pronounce it? I mean, I mean, there's so many chemicals, hard to pronounce ones. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, my feeling is these are very similar to American version, but they taste a little more, less greasy a little bit, and a little less flavorful. Yeah, it's good, less greasy. Maybe American chips have more grease and a little more MSG, I don't know. I prefer the American one. It's similar, though. This is American. It's much lighter in flavor. This is American. No, no, you'd be surprised. When stuff comes to a foreign country, the ingredient list is often a little bit different. Mm -hmm. He's enjoying watching the game. <laughs> this is the life, honey. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I could go for right now? Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola. Do you like Coca-Cola, honey? No. How come when I have it, you always ask for it? I like, but uh, I don't drink it. And Neville was also very aware that man will often slip back into the world of the senses. Man being of the senses. So in closing, Neville says, you must ever remember the trial and always move out, in spite of all the facts that would deny it. Live in the dream just as though it were true, and no power in the world will stop you from becoming the fulfillment of your dream, but no power. So that is why we must always be diligent, and why it's so wonderful to come back and hear these teachings again, lest we not forget. And as he said, when we forget, we go through the fires of hell in the world, and then we'll remember. But even more wonderful, just remember based on hearing these wonderful teachings, now, let us go into the silence. Good 